after this starts, I would like to say only 2% of you are watching this video are actually subscribed. We've got 1% up, but that's still not enough. We need to get to 100%, boys. So go subscribe right now and join my Discord server down below. If you want to send me lucky clips, trade, play with me, etc. Trust me, you won't We've gone slight 700 members, roll to 1k. And roll to 2k subscribers. So that further ado, let's get into the video. First, we've got Mare and Not Usable, which is quite self explanatory. I would not summon for any of these units if you have them. I would not focus on evolving them. I mean, if you have Eren, you can use it for leaderboard, but that's pretty much it. And you probably got Eren intentionally, so you would not have him just by summoning again a little bit unlucky. But yeah, don't summon for these units. If you have them, it is what it is. But yeah. Now we have good support. Now, these units are good support, but they're not quite meta. Especially Grey. Grey is quite good, but. And he freezes airs. However, you could possibly say it's meta, but. His damage is way too low, and like, some people just don't really use him. So yeah, these units are good support, but not really the best. They're not really too much in order, especially Owen is good early on, but nowadays he's not really that good. Now we have good air slash hybrid, and these units are actually pretty good, especially Akainu, Uryu, and the units that go above, even Okura, especially at the start. So these units are good if you have them at the start, they're quite easy to evolve, and yeah, they're pretty good. So yeah, um, I wouldn't some of these units unless you're a beginner, so yeah. Now these units are good grand, a lot of people have these units, a lot of people don't, but yeah, I would not summon for these units to be honest, I would just go straight for a unit like Metal Knight, because even Unevolved he's quite nice, or go for a good S like hybrid, these are like maybe if you get unlucky or you just already have them, especially like, because the, these units are quite hard to obtain and they're only good for some reason, so yeah, I would not summon for these units, I would just go for like a good unit Unevolved, and then just evolve them, as Unevolved they'll still be broken, especially at the start, so yeah, don't really go for these units, but they're quite good. But they're not that good to be honest compared to Mel. Now we have farms. Now um, there is no best farm. I mean technically the best farm is Boma which gives you the most. However you can't really use it in story. So if you want to do story use speed wagon. Now all the time especially in infinite you want to use two farms or legend stages. So Nami will always be a second farm. Because she's good for infinite. She's kind of good for story slash legend stages. So yeah. But it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't make a huge impact if you only have Boma. Or you only have speed wagon. It's not the biggest difference in the world. But if you really did care, then yeah. Now we have meta burn and meta water. Now meta water bang is better than uh, Noel, but I don't know. I just got it mixed up by accident. But yeah, meta burn the best burn in the game is Itachi. Maybe it might be um, Escono, but we'll show you Escono later on. Yeah, we got Genos, Yamamoto, Todoroki, and Natsu. There's not nothing big to say about it. If you want to get meta burn, just go get, get Itachi or Escono. If you want meta water, just go get Bang or Noel. Yeah, meta bleed is going to be greed. Greed is going to be the best bleed in the game, aka barn. And because he does the most bleed, the most damage for a bleed unit, and he's the easiest to obtain other than Sukuna, obviously. So yeah, I would personally just go for barn if you needed a bleed unit because devil pause is long, and I mean you could get Sukuna, but it's just worse. So what's the point? And yeah, power does support meta bleed units, so yeah, it makes the bleed do more damage. Now we have meta support with the addition of Merlin which is a 30% debuff to the enemies and does more damage so it's like kinda like Megami but basically better with more damage and 30% debuff so yeah she is meta support and yeah that's pretty much it the Poochie 50% like I'm pretty sure you know what these units to do if you don't you can go search them up it's not a showcase it's just a pure tier list. Now we have meta ground with the Meliodas being the best ground in the game and then maybe a touch it might be better than uh, Dany but or Diane. But yeah, it's quite debatable, same for Ice Queen, but yeah, without further ado, Meliodas is the best ground in the game, and I would be summoning for him, and I would also summon for Pucci since he's not ma made to be a DPS, but he is uh, made to be a meta support, so I would also get Pucci. Now we have meta air slash hybrid with Eskino being the second best, but the only best obtainable one since you can't really obtain a D unless you trade for him. And yeah, he gains damage actually every wave, like 4k, and he's got full AoE, and he's got a decent amount of range. So yeah, he's quite, quite broken, and he does also burn damage. So yeah, he's very, very nice, and I would summon for him personally. I'm going to go summon for him later on today. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and I would subscribe right now since I did not make this tier list too long compared to other people. I'm not going to say who. So yeah, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.